days. And uh, overall, in 2010, $154 billion went into the green economy. Um, Thirty-four billion of that being the U.S. This is a great, this is a great sign, and a couple points I would make on this. 154 billion, first of all, is a significant sum, uh, and it shows that we're getting some traction. We're showing that that there is uh, a contingency out there that is that is uh, willing to put their money where their mouth is. On top of it, 34 billion of that being the U.S. That's 20 percent. Great that the U.S. is embracing it, but. Uh, we're not having to carry this, thing. meaning it's not just something that you know an administration got behind, and we're trying to make this work as a as a U.S. push. It's only 20 percent of this, so that shows that overseas we've got other people that have skin in the game and and uh, and money out there as well. So other people are believing in it. Other countries are believing in supporting this thing, as are we. This is a good sign for the uh, green economy in in general. I get asked, where are the jobs at? And uh, it's a big question. I'll do my best to do this in a, in a couple of areas. We'll tackle it. Uh, geographically, uh, the South has got the largest number of jobs. Uh, they, they amount to about 30% of it. The West has got 25%. The Midwest, 23%. Northeast, 20%. Uh, the West isn't quite as densely uh, populated as the, as the East Coast, so they've actually done a pretty good job holding their own. Uh, and just a, a quick kudos to, to New York and New Jersey. They're the largest metro area in green jobs, about 150, 152,000 green jobs in the New York, New Jersey metro area, by far and away the largest metro area for green jobs. The next closest would be LA, about 89,000. One other note, uh, uh, interestingly enough, when I was doing research on this, uh, Albany, uh, here in New York, uh, is, is fantastic. They've got the largest percentage of their local jobs uh, in the green sector of any of any uh, of any city, so it's about 6.3, maybe 6.4 percent of all their jobs are in the, in the green sector. And obviously, it's a uh, a state capital, but it's also uh, got the GE contingency and whatnot. But a good example for the rest of us. Where are the jobs in terms of what are the jobs? And obviously, there's 2.7 million, so I can't go into a ton of detail on this. But uh, just to summarize it the best I can, I'll give you the, the highlights on this. I usually break it down into three categories. There's the energy and resource efficiency, uh, renewable energy, and then clean tech. Within the energy and resource efficiency, the, the two biggies are going to be your energy saving uh, building materials and professional environmental services. Renewable energy, your biggies are going to be hydropower, wind, uh, and then the photovoltaic, the solar. Uh, on the clean tech, uh, waste management and treatment is huge. Uh, recycling and reuse, and then recycled content products. Those are the biggies. I know I'm covering a lot of ground on this, but I wanted to put the graphic up just so if you had interest or wanted to take a quick look. I was actually surprised on some of these numbers, uh, just given where our placements are and where our business uh, tends to fall. They didn't line up directly with it, so some of this was uh, different than I would have expected. Um, opportunities in energy efficiency and clean tech. People ask in terms of uh, certifications and uh, uh, reschooling and adult education, what can I do, what kind of things are people looking for? I'm going to skip this slide only because it was a, uh, there was a great talk yesterday about this very uh, topic. And I've got names and numbers of people, if you have any interest, that I can point you to that are actually here at the show uh, that can give you everything from certifications uh, to programs and some that are funded by the states, uh, and some that are, uh, you know, that are, that are holding college courses and some that are short food camps. So if you're interested, either ask me or grab me afterwards and I can give you uh, names and numbers. Uh, opportunities in energy efficiency and clean tech. This would be more along the lines of people that uh, have skills and want to transfer into uh, the clean energy, the green sector. I'm going to be speaking specifically more from a clean tech perspective versus just the overall green economy, which is very broad and encompassing. Um, within it, people from the, the semiconductor, the aerospace, the automotive, uh, software and hardware, and IT spaces, uh, a lot of those skills directly apply to uh, the clean tech sector. And uh, if you've got skills and you're interested in getting into the clean tech sector, a lot of those will transfer. 
what if I uh, don't have a degree, I'm not technical, and I don't want to go back to school, but I do want to get involved? And my advice to that would be uh, along the breaking in lines. Uh, how do we do it? There are a ton uh, of, of ways to do it. As a matter of fact, I had a conversation with uh, Daigo with Green Mountain Energy uh, yesterday, and that's a company that sells clean energy to end users uh, here in New York. And he started out as a customer and moved his way in through sales, marketing, um, those avenues in, in the areas that he is, you know, that, that he was obviously drawn to or interested in. Uh, those are those are great options for people. Find something that you're interested in, and then go through the the sales and marketing route if if engineering isn't your bent. Uh, the other option that you've got is get involved in some of these nonprofits. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of organizations that would love intelligent professionals that want to come in and contribute. And even if you're doing it for the sake of getting experience so that you can ultimately, you know, find a career path in that, maybe that's a non-paying opportunity or something along those lines, even if it isn't completely altruistic in, in nature that you're doing this with hoping that there's a benefit for yourself, that's fantastic. It's, it's helping a cause, it's getting involved, it's, so, it's showing some initiative, and people like to see it. Hiring managers like to see this. What are you doing? Do we, do we have people that are talking about how interested they are in this field, or are they out trying to do something about it? And I'll leave you with a quote. Um, the success depends on your backbone and not your wishbone. For the people that are here looking or, or, or attending this with the idea of maybe getting involved if you're not, or, uh, or making a green uh, economy or green energy uh, part of a, a job or a career path for you, remember this. It's true of any job search, but especially true in this and people that are trying to break into it. Have some resiliency. This is something you're gonna get a lot of notes. You're gonna get knocked down. You might have uh, roadblocks and whatnot. It's part of the game, and these guys are going to be looking for people that are working towards uh, sticking at it. And so it, there is a numbers game component of it, but stick at it, and, and uh, there's a lot of opportunities. So good luck, and feel free to uh, ask any questions or whatnot of me later after the show. Thank you.